Well, hello, it is LaTanya Washington, your customer journey strategist, guiding you, the small business owner and entrepreneur, and staying relevant or gaining relevance in customer relations. And so you all, I wanted to talk a bit about ads. And when I began to look back at some of the big organizations, such as Chick-fil-A and McDonald's and of course, Wendy's, when we look at Burger King and we look at our Starbucks, have you noticed this? Have you seen a Chick-fil-A ad? I have it. Have you seen the Starbucks ad? Nope. What about McDonald's? Yeah, I see them all the time. Burger King, yep. So when you think back and you wonder how come you've never seen a Chick-fil-A ad? How come you've never seen a Starbucks ad? It is because they literally have personalized their experience with the consumer. If you've ever gone through a Chick-fil-A line, what do they always ask us? They ask us our name. They're very pleasant. I always tell them, I said, there is a, there is a given fact that they have literally trained their employees in customer service, in the customer experience. They ask for your information. When you go to Starbucks, what do they do? They ask you for your name and they put your, your name on their cup. And when you are, um, when your coffee or your tea, um, whether it is hot or cold is complete, they call out your name, Latanya. Um, your latte is now here. And so you have to understand that the psyche behind people is we love the personalization. We love the connection. And so these companies have literally made us feel so great because of the experience that they do not have have to run an ad and they're always up on their game. And so those are things, especially when you are out in the marketplace and you are connecting to people. And as you are developing your relationships with your clientele or your consumers, stay connected. Whether you are developing a sales funnel or a quote unquote marketing funnel, a lot of times we call a sales funnel and a marketing funnel um, kind of the same thing, but whatever process in which you are trying to um, have your, your potential prospects connect, whether they're going through that awareness phase to that interest phase, that consideration, that purchase, the use of that product. Um, and then they become advocates and the cycle continues on and on and on because we all want loyal. We all want loyal clients. We always want to connect with the consumer and keep them um, coming back for more. And so in that, I want you all to begin to take a look at the um, process of Chick-fil-A. Look how Starbucks do it. They personalize everything when it comes to the consumer. And so therefore, we go back. We, it don't, we don't care about the price, do we? Chick-fil-A sandwich is much more expensive than McDonald's and Burger King. Um, Starbucks coffee is much more expensive than um, McDonald's or some of these other places. But what we're beginning to see now is some of these companies are starting to um, pay attention and say, hmm, what are they doing that we could be doing um, so we can also obtain that loyalty? Well, a hey, Chick Fil A, Starbucks—they are in this in in the, the they are in in the four, forefront. They are the trailblazers of it all. And so, begin to think of those things as you are connecting with your consumer. Um, send an email out. Um, if they don't, if you don't hear back from your your client or your consumer, 
um, send an email out with maybe every couple of weeks. Just say, hey, I'm checking up on you or create that sales funnel to where it's an automation to where um, every two weeks or every week you're always connecting, whether it is even connecting through a blog. Send a DM to people. People love that. And when you begin to do that, a lot of times people feel obligated to connect back to you. And so salts are some of the things in which you can begin to evaluate because now we already know when you're running ads, the whole purpose of running an ad is to connect to your targeted audience um, and as well as to um, get eyes, more eyes around the world on what it is that you're promoting or it is that you are selling. And so in that process, when we began to focus in, not just on the numbers, because take the numbers out. Remember, people are people. Begin to develop those relationships with people, even in your content that you're putting out there on your social media platform. Make sure that that content is connecting to that right target and you're hitting those pain points. And a lot of times, sometimes you just need to give away something for free to stay connected because people really, really now, they are, they are looking for people who are giving. So be a giver. And, and I, I like that. Be a giver. And when you are a giver, people will come back for more. Now, mind you, you got some people that just are going to take, they're going to take those freebies. But if you have a product that is definitely valuable, people go back and they look and they look at your social media platforms. They go and they click. <clears throat> And they look at your website. They look at the other things that you have available. They Google you. They do so many things because they're now interested. Now they're literally, quote unquote, looking for you even the more on a daily basis. And so that is what I want you all to begin to evaluate and to focus in on. Create a pattern where you are literally connecting with your potential clients with your current customers, stay connected, stay relevant, stay consistent. All right. You're going to thank me in the long run. All right. I'll talk to you guys again soon.